Hey guys, I'm back with the Cypress Quick Tip series. So today I'm going to share one another useful Cypress Quick Tip with you. So in Cypress, whenever you execute any command or whenever you run your test cases, by default, all the commands are logged. So on your execution screen, when you see all the commands and the arguments are automatically logged on the page, right? But in Cypress, you can actually control it. So if you don't want any command to be printed or you don't want, let's say you are entering password in a text box. So you don't want it to be present in the logs. So you can hide it. You can control the logging part in Cypress. So for example, we have this uh, demo website. This is an open card website. And let's say you're entering, this is a registration form in which you are entering all the details. Let's say first name, second name, last name and uh, password also you're entering. But as part of your log, you don't want to show it. So in that case, we can use log false. So log, so what you have to do, you have to pass an option. So object in your command. So if you're using type command or if you're using any other command, you just have to pass this object in your uh, command and it will be it will be hidden from your logs. So we'll let's see this one and understand how it works. So I already have a sample test case. So this is a test case where uh, I'm just entering all the registration form and I'm entering all the details, first name, last name, like email, everything is there. And with this script, I can see on the screen, all my uh, commands are getting printed. Let's say my first name, it, whatever name I have passed over here, whatever text I have passed over here, and these commands are also will be printed over there. So let's execute the test case and see. So I will execute my test case. This is my test case disable log. And so this is without making it hidden. So first time, so you see on the left side, we can see all the commands over here. We can see dot get command and then whatever entered uh, text is there, right? All the commands we can see. But now let's hide this one. Let's say I want to hide my, uh, this get command and then type command. And maybe let's say I can hide check command also, check box command as well. So let's do that. So what I said, we have to pass this option, which is uh, object as an option over here. So log false. So what it will do, it will by default log is true for all the commands, but you can make it false. So when you add this uh, object to a command, so it will automatically, it will hide the log from your execution screen, right? So where is it helpful? You should know the use case also. So in case, let's say you want to share the report. So in report also your execution steps will be locked. So in report, if you don't want that password to be shown, so you can use it there. The second scenario is in your CI CD, if you don't want a lot of logs to be printed, maybe in that case also you can use this log false because it can reduce uh, the amount of output in the console and it will be helpful for you to run the test cases in CI CD environment. Yeah, because it can reduce the amount of log which are log data which is getting generated. So these are the use cases where you can use it where if you want to hide the password, let's say you are entering a password and you don't want to it to be shown on the screen. So you can use log false in that case as well. But uh, just important note, it will be wherever you write log false, it will be implemented only for that command. Let's say if I'm entering for type command, it will be for type command, not for the get command. So we'll still see get command log on the page, but this type command, the this text, let's say I've entered Anshita. So this text will be hidden on the page. So what we'll do, we will add log false to multiple uh, commands. So we can understand it's not only for type command, it is for all the commands and it can hide all the uh, commands wherever we pass this object, right? So let me enter for telephone also. So for this command also I will enter, right? And let's enter for one radio button as well. So this is my radio button. And so currently what before running, I will show you. So this is my uh, execution screen. So we can see the get command and type command also, and this telephone and uh, whatever text we entered as well as for the radio button also we can see currently where we have not executed our log false yet, right? We can see all the logs. Now let's rerun the test case and see after log false, what happens. So if it is getting hidden or not. So you see on the first, on uh, for the first command, my type command, it is not getting shown over here. That means because I added log false, it is getting hidden. Now I can't see the type command, although my, uh, 
command execution is working fine i can see on the right side you see the text is getting entered okay yeah now you can see the text is getting entered on the uh, on the screen so this first name is there already there but on the left side it is not locked right we entered for telephone as well so you see over here we can't see we can see the type command for telephone but that get command it's hidden because we added log false only to the get command not to the type command so that get command is also hidden from the page right next one we entered for the radio button so over here we can't see any radio button log right so these the and this is the way how you can uh, hide your logs in cypress if you want to hide logs if you want to hide it from your reporting or from the ci cd or even if you don't want all the logs to be printed on the screen you can use this uh, option you can pass the object in your command and uh, it will be very helpful it reduces your uh, execution uh, the execution logs also and uh, it's very helpful when you share it with your with your uh, management team all the on the reporting part and that you can hide all the stuff right so i hope uh, you uh, like the concept and it re really increase uh, your productivity such kind of tips and tricks can really you know make you better than others so you should know the, these kind of tip and tricks it can be asked in your interview also right so we should know all the tips and tricks because get command how to use get command type command everyone will know but this is something which makes you unique from others if you like the video please uh, share it with your friends and like and subscribe to the channel and i'll come up with more such quick tips and series which will be helpful for you and can increase your productivity